Hey guys, Tiffany with another video. So this video is highly, highly requested. Ever since I put up my magnetic makeup board behind me, I've gotten so many questions on it. What exactly is it? How did I make it? All those good things. So I decided that I was going to go okay, ahead now and I do a video. This idea off of Pinterest. I'm a pentaholic. <laughs> I confess I'm always on that website looking for really cool ideas to try. This is something that I've wanted to do for a really long time. I saw it like maybe about a year and a half ago and I kept saying one of these days I am going to make that board. So I was slowly beginning to run out of room on my vanity and I figured now is the perfect time to go ahead and try it out. It took me a day to make. It was really fun. I enjoyed doing it and it was actually really, really simple. So in the video, again, I've explained everything that I did. I show you all every step, plus I show the products that I used. But if you're anything like me, I'm a list taker. I want to know exactly so the first what thing I you're need. Gonna need is a large picture frame. Now, I got my frame from Walmart. I went over into the home section. They had a bunch of picture frames with some different pictures in it. You just want to make sure it's a wooden frame. You can pick which size you think that you're going to need for your board. I paid $9.99 for it, so you don't need anything expensive because you don't need the picture inside of it. All you need is the frame. I think you can probably also find a couple of frames for cheap at like Marshalls, TJ Maxx, Ross, and you're gonna also need like primer. Now, thanks to my handy dandy assistant, who you will see throughout the video, he already had automobile primer in the house, but you can use any type of primer you can get that at, from Walmart. You're also as gonna well. need spray paint. Now, this is where you can let your creative juices flow. I chose to go with black because I figured that black would just match with anything, but there are so many different colors of spray paint out there. So, again, you can be as creative as you want. You can go with ever finish that you want I went with a black metallic spray paint finish and I think the spray paint ran about three dollars from Walmart I only used one can and I didn't even use the full thing so unless you plan on making multiple of these boards one can is and then you also want to get a can of fast dry clear which is also in the section with the you're spray also going to need a piece of sheet metal and you can purchase the sheet metal from Home Depot or also from Lowe's. Now you are going to either have to have the sheet metal cut at the store, or if you happen to have a handyman around the house, he can cut it for you, and it just needs to fit inside of the picture frame. And then finally, you are going to need some super glue. You are going to need a hot glue gun and some glue sticks, and then a couple of magnets. All of those items can be purchased at Walmart. So now, let's get into it. Now we wanna begin with our sheet metal. We're gonna knead out your primer, your spray paint, and your clear coat. Now the first thing you wanna do is start priming your sheet metal. It does not have to be perfect. A back and forth motion will do. You just wanna make sure to get it on there. Now once the primer has dried, you're gonna go ahead and start spraying your first coat of your spray paint. Again, a back and forth motion. It does not have to be perfect because we are going to go ahead with a second coat once this one has dried. And now once the first coat is dried, you wanna spray on a second coat of your spray paint. Don't worry if there appears to be streaking. I promise once it dries, it will be streak free. Now, as you can see, we had to move upstairs for this portion because the wind was blowing just a little too hard, but you want to spray on your first coat of the clear top coat. In about 10 minutes, that will dry, and then you want to spray on a second and final coat, and now we are done with the spraying. Here comes the part where we will be using our picture frame. You want to put something underneath to make sure there's no glue transfer. You also want to have out your hot glue gun, your glue sticks, and your super glue. Now you want to start super gluing into the grooves of the picture frame, and this is just going to ensure that the sheet metal does not move. 
immediately after putting the super glue into the grooves you want to start putting your sheet metal in because you know super glue dries pretty fast you may have to play around press with it just a little bit to get it into place there I am faking like I'm actually helping but I'm not but you just want to be sure to get your sheet metal completely into the picture frame and once it's in you want to start super gluing on top of the sheet metal again this is just going to ensure that the sheet metal does not move so you want to take that super glue not super glue hot glue and you want to glue all around the picture frame And once everything is dry, what you are left with is your magnetic makeup board. And yes, I did make a whole new board just for this video because so many of y'all did ask for it. And at the time I made that one, I didn't film it. But because I love my supporters so much, brand new makeup board. Thumbs up for that. But again, this is when the fun starts. You can now start picking out what makeup you want to put on there. I went ahead and picked out what I wanted ahead of time, figured out how I was going to situate it on there before gluing on the magnets. Now I use the button magnets as you can see right there. And again, I purchased these from Walmart. As you know, the color tattoos are pretty heavy. I haven't had an issue with them falling off. As you can see on the board behind me, everything is still intact. And then you can just start playing. So hopefully this video was helpful to those of you all who were asking about it. If you have any additional questions, maybe something that I didn't cover within the video, please let me know in the comment section and I'll answer to the best of my abilities. But until next time, Bye, YouTube.